Let's see if it works here. For beer, try it out loud. Greetings, humans. Greetings. And welcome back to another fun-filled episode. Beer here. 29-year veteran of the woods. That's where beers live. Yes, indeed, people. And great to have everyone here with us. Um, man, oh man, the last show just kind of completely blew up on beer. I had no expectations on any of that, so, um, I want to thank P-Money if he's out there. He's stuck in with beer. Ah, uh, we made it through. All the technical issues and everything else. Hopefully, none of that tonight, but, uh, hey, if you are a new, uh, viewer, uh, beer's channel out here, uh, you know, we do, on the occasion, the, um, uh, movie, uh, watch-longs and reviews, uh, mainly a comic channel. So we're gonna be talking, uh... Comics tonight? Oh, all the new uh, books coming out, but you know what? If you are brand new to the channel, hey, make sure you hit that subscribe button, people. would love to see you back around. Uh, enjoy a kind of a variety show with uh, Beers Live Show, mainly comics, but um, every once in a while some other stuff. People have been trying to get Beer to talk about crypto again. Uh, no, we're done with crypto. Crypto is ill fini. Well, actually, no, uh, we actually got a story tonight about the metaverse, so... And we'll talk a little bit about that, but uh, I, if you are brand new here, we, we welcome you here. Appreciate, appreciate that. And, and if you haven't checked out the the alternate channel uh, for all beers, live shows, the archive channel out there, uh, go ahead and check that out. We put it in the, in the description and in the chat as well. Yes, indeed. Great to see Grant here. Uh, great to have all of our... Uh, lurkers, Russian bots, uh, new new arrivals, and old friends out there. Uh, speaking of old friends, uh, great to have Miguel here. Uh, hello, Beer. What is the best Rambo knife for you? One, two, three, four, uh, or five? Uh, Beer has not seen a uh, four or five. I definitely haven't seen five. I think, I think Beer saw a little bit. It's kind of like a Grindhouse movie, if Beer remembers correctly. Uh, four... He goes into, is it like Cambodia or like, um, uh, what was it? Um, uh, one of those Asian places overseas. Uh, it was a, uh, uh, Bear took a look at it. It was kind of interesting. Uh, remember three. Uh, Bear did uh, three. Of course, just recently did two and one here. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, Bear liked all of the, like, little gadgets that came with it. Uh, I don't know if they showed it too much. Uh, in the second movie there, but, uh, you know, he's got the, got the compass in there, he's got the, like, fishing line, if he needed a fishing line. Uh, I believe matches were in there as well, so, uh, there you go, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Rainbow Comic Unboxing needs to be an epic one. Well, you know, that, that gives, that gives Bear an idea. I might, Bear might need to get, Bear might need to get one of those Rambo knives to open up the package there. That would be... That would be pretty cool. Do we have that in the in the stuff tonight? Let me see. Let, uh, we got a bunch of updates here. Uh, no, uh, no stuff from your boy out there. But uh, I'm sure he's working, working hard out there. Yes, indeed. That would be that would be a epic unboxing out there. That's that's pretty good. Thank you, Miguel. Thank you so much, sir. That gives beer ideas out here. All right. Well, uh, the beer teased it. Why not? Get right on into it. We've actually got uh, some campaign updates. Uh, by the way, people, uh, we've got a couple links uh, down in the description. If if you happen to be new here, i uh, got a couple links down there in the description. Uh, it goes to a site called Indiegogo. So we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, Indiegogo. But the ones in the in the um, uh, description there, uh, they're being shadow banned. So one of the reasons we talk about uh, some of the books out there is... Uh, you may not see them on the Indiegogo main page out there, so uh, we do we do try to promote some of that stuff. A uh, private American, a great example, uh, completely shadow banned. Uh, Uncle E's book is being shadow banned, so uh, go figure. Uh, Rambo, Rambo First Blood is being, or fir first kill, first kill. Uh, that one is being shadow. They're they're shadow banning um your boy Zach and Rambo out here. Go figure. Uh, anyways, we've got some. Campaign updates here. Pretty good people. Let's check it out. Check it out here. Where are we? We are not. Not doing gunship. No, sir. No, sir. Agreed to have P-Money. P-Money stuck around the last time. 
stuck with Bear through all of the, oh, for crying out loud, all of the uh, technical difficulties that Bear had. He's trying to get it through Apple TV. I had everything set up. I checked it out beforehand. He's like, uh, oh, it wouldn't play because it, it, uh, Beer had it hooked up to an external monitor. And he's like, okay, we'll unplug that. Oh, it works. Uh, everything's great. Beer goes to go live. Yeah, he's already live. He, he, go, he goes to watch the movie. Nope, no, no movie. We can't show you that. Why? Uh, it's, it's, why? I don't know. Probably, probably the OBS out there. So we had that. Uh, a, a number of the um, uh, pictures uh, were out of sync or out of order. Uh, so, <laughs> had an issue there. Bear was like this close. Uh, you can't see Bear's claws, but he was this close to just saying, I ah, screw it all. I, I, I do something completely different. But, um, uh, struggled, struggled through it uh, with, with P-Money out there. He has definitely earned his wrench. Bear was also that close to taking it away. But, uh, nope, not, not today. So, thank you, P-Money. do appreciate that. Hope you, hope you enjoyed it. Holy cow, that video now has... Uh, let's see, like 1,500 views on, on the main channel here, and like seven or 800 on the uh, on the other channel there, so I'm close to 2,000 views, it's crazy. I, I know there's plenty of, plenty of places out there that have more, more than 2,000 views, but uh, you know what, that's, that's an accomplishment for beer. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> uh, let's see, oh, Miguel says, uh, there are a lot of Rambo fans, and the Shadow Band needs to be... Uh, so, uh, hard, so big, because little people know, uh, of that, uh, the official Rambo comic. Yes, indeed. Actually, if you go and check, uh, we'll get back to brand here in just a second here. If you go onto, um, Indiegogo right now, and you type in Rambo, uh, you're going to find, uh-oh, did I lose it? There we go. Uh, Mick Rambo. Mick Rambo out there, which didn't even get funded, for crying out loud. Uh, your boy Zach Scott's. He's got, uh, hold on, just let me see. Let me see how much he has. I gotta go, I gotta go do this thing here. Hold on. Um, he has... 186,000, and that was from, uh, uh, this past weekend there. So, there you go. If you go check out, you go check out, uh, poor, poor your boy out there on Indiegogo. You get, you get Mick Rambo instead. Nobody wants Mick Rambo, for crying out loud. Uh, anywho. Anywho, so uh, yes, I hope I hope people are checking it out. Or if you actually checked out Bear's uh, video the other day, uh, hopefully you're able to. Where's Bear here? Uh, hopefully you're able to go over to Indigo go and check it out. But uh, follow the link. Follow the link in the description. Bear gets nothing out of it, um, but uh, you won't be able to find it through the search. You're gonna have to go through. Actually, let me just do it here. I will put it in to the chat here for you good people. Go check out here. Let's see. Copy the link. Paste the link. Do the thing. Here we go. Do a thing, Bear. <clears throat> Do a thing out there. So there we go. <clears throat> oh, uh, P Money enjoyed enjoyed the watch along, even though Rainbow never got his full restaurant. Maybe that might be in five. Beer hasn't checked out Rambo number five. He is back in the United States, so maybe maybe. Maybe he will open up that faux restaurant after all. <laughs> yeah, all the stuff that we come up with when we do a watch along here is fun. It was fun out there. There was a little nervous though. He's like, oh man, screwed up the entire thing. What do we wait? Like seven, eight minutes? Trying to figure out how to get that thing started. But um, anyways, uh, that that is for another day. We've got a March update, people, from Antonio Bryce. Antonio always looking like, always looking like somebody stole his last sandwich or last faux faux bowl out there. He's he's really disappointed in that, really really disappointed sometimes. Uh, March update. Uh, hello everyone. Hello. Uh, apologies for the delay in updating this project. Uh, Marcelo is working, but I'd be lying if I didn't admit that this is taking longer than I want. Well, considering the March update came on March 25th. <laughs> it might, might take just a little, little, you can't see it here on Beer's Claws, and just a little, little longer than he wanted. I, however, he did send him uh, a page and a half. So there we go. Uh, for a month. Oh no, longer than that, like two or three months. Oh, we got a page and a half, people. A page and a half. 
As you can see, our steampunk North Pole is coming along nicely. I should have more completed pages. Uh, in the next five to six months, uh, we might get another three or four things there. If people quit stealing poor Antonio's sandwiches out here. Very, very sad looking beer. Beer all, like, literally forgot about brand. Literally forgot about brand. And I always enjoy uh, Cane and White stuff out there, but uh, man, oh man. Brand, uh, another campaign that is cursed out there. Yes, indeed. So there we are. Uh, uh, starting off with bad news, and, and we'll get better. We will get better. <laughs> Alright, moving. Moving along. What do we have here next, people? We have... Oh, oh, this is a good one. This is a really good one here, people, because if Bear can find his OBS, where is the OBS? Uh, uh oh. YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain a smooth streaming. What? What's going on here? Not for crying out loud. I'll do the thing with the thing. One second here, people. Always messing with Bear here on YouTube. Where, where is the OBS? Not for crying out loud. There we go. Oh, that, of course, it's right there. Come on, Bear. Professional show. Uh, if you are new here to the channel, Bear... Bear tries to do professional shows. Uh, it just isn't happening for Bear. <laughs> One of these days, though, we will. We will do a professional show. All right, there we go. Looks looks like it's working there. Looks like it's working there. Everything's, let's see, hold on. Stream health. What is my stream health, people? Poor! Much like Bear, his stream health is poor. Uh, uh, anyways, we will we will endeavor to move along. Because we've actually got a great, a great new book here from Darwell uh, called Cerberus. And it is live, people. Uh, his new Cerberus uh, book, uh, is, uh, his new book, Cerberus, is live. One of these days, professional show, yada, yada, yada. Uh, hey, Amy, great to see you out here. Uh, Narwhal, quote, Narwhal is a master of the cinematic storytelling on paper. This gave me classic animation vibes, such as the rescuers. All dogs go to heaven. And bears, too. Uh, uh, Fievel. And even 101 Dalmatians. Not 102, though. Oh, while it isn't what I would call an all-ages tale, it's a great story for the young at heart. It has murder, Ooh. intrigue, suspense, and talking animals. Wow, there we go. That's Soul Bear right there. That would be from Amanda B. Uh, at the Splintering. The Splintering out there. So, we'll go check it out. He's got, uh, where was it? There we go. There is the, the, main, the main one there. And where did Bear put it here? There we go. There are some interesting pages that uh, Narwhal is uh, showing. Uh, Bear hasn't checked out the campaign just yet, but um, uh, just from some of the artwork that he's got here, looking really good. Looking really, really good, Narwhal. I mean, everybody, uh, uh, kind of a point of contention out there, Narwhal. Um, uh, if you're new to the channel, Narwhal kind of as a up-and-coming artist out here, so... Uh, I started with a couple books, let's see, Earthbound, um, um, Foreign Agent, Earthbound 2, uh, there's probably one or two others that Bear is just not, oh, uh, 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 staring me right in the face, uh, 499, 499, um, what was the other one, um, uh, the one with the Immortals, I, I forget the name of it there, but it's uh, very cool. Very cool stuff there from Narwhal. Anyways, Narwhal, I, I just leveling up each time that he does a book out here. So, uh, uh, probably his best work here so far. Look at, look at really good. A tale, a tale of a dog in the woods there. So there we are. No bears. No bears, unfortunately. Uh, other mutts, uh, uh, woodland creatures, uh, but no bears. Uh, it is, it is a horror film because he gets go. Uh, you never want to be a dog. Near a Chinese restaurant. Here's just saying, you probably probably want to stay away if you're a dog. Yes, indeed. So there you go. There is uh, some good stuff from Narwhal. Let's see. Does he say anything else? Comment on this update. It's good. A uh, beer likes it. Very good. Very good, Narwhal. So do uh, uh, if you do enjoy that stuff, and you're trying to support uh, an up and coming artist, uh, you can't go wrong with Narwhal. Can't go wrong with Narwhal. The book looks nice. Great colors. They are. 
really great cards. I, especially sometimes when Narwhal just does black and white stuff. So, um, uh, yeah, he, I don't know if he's doing the coloring on this or not. But uh, I, believe it or not, Narwhal does some really great coloring. So, um, <laughs> anybody out there looking for a colorist? Uh, he, he might have a lot on his plate there, but uh, uh, go check out Narwhal. Go check out the old Narwhal out here. All right, let's see. Where are we? Where are we? Because we've actually got... Actually got people uh, from Graham Nolan. Graham Nolan out here. Come on, people, sing it with me. That would be the ghosts. The ghosts of Anacumba <gasps> That would be the ghosts of Anacumba Key out here, people. A week 18 update. Uh, good morning, Ghoul Gang. It is in the evening, but beer will allow it. Oh, wow, this campaign is really on fire. <sighs> As of this writing, we just broke through. Congratulations, 141k. Congratulations, that is six figures plus, young lady out here. Uh, making the ghosts of Metacuma Key the most successful campaign the Compass Comics has ever done to date. Uh, he can't thank you wonderful backers enough for your support and trust. Uh, more pages are done and more color files came in this week. Actually, let's take a look. We actually had, had the black and white the last time, and now he's, now he's got the coloring in. Very cool. Literally came back from the death from the woo flu out there. So there you go. Good job, Grant. Good job, Grant. And also, uh, he says this Friday... Uh, Joe Frankenstein campaigns comes to a close. Uh, he'll be uh, busy this week prepping files. Mm, pardon me. Uh, and getting everything ready to send uh, the files to uh, Mindy uh, for page pagination. Pagination. That's a new one on beer. Let me look this up. Pagination. I, I'm, I'm assuming pages. Pagination. The sequence of numbers assigned to pages. Any book or periodical, bear learned something today. Page a nation out here. Uh, and then off to the printer, uh, if you haven't, if you hey, people haven't backed Joe yet, uh, please hurry, because there's only five days left. Actually, there's only three days left. Actually, no, he says Friday. Two days left, people. You got two days. Uh, copies will be available during uh, the part two campaign, but they will be more expensive. Uh, have a great week, and we'll see you back here next Monday. That would be the best. The best from Graham out there. So, yeah, looking looking pretty good. I like the colors in there. Uh, the, the ghosts, the ghosts kind of come out pretty well. So, very cool. Very cool. Very much looking forward to that. Very much looking forward to what he has there. And, including people, we actually have <laughs> one, of, one of Bear's favorites here that he never, never got to check out, though. Beer blames little Timmy. Uh, he has uh, the alien Alamo. He says the wait is over, people. I have had a lot of inquiries uh, about when alien Alamo would be back in stock. Well, the wait is over. Uh, you can head over to the Compass Comics website uh, and get your copy today. So there you go. Uh, if you happen to be new here, uh, some of the uh, folks in our Comics Gate community are uh, kind of getting... Uh, uh, a little ticked off with Indiegogo out there shadow banning some campaigns. So uh, some artists out there will put up their own website that you can go to. So there you are, Compass, Compass Comics. Let's see if this will allow me to copy and paste it. Let me see. Can I do it? Let's see. Copy link. Do the thing. Come on, Bear, do a thing. All for crying out loud. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. that. There we go. There you go. So you can go check it out right there. And get your hands, or claws as it were, on Alien Alamo. Missed, Bear missed out on that. Bear missed out. I keep trying to say, oh, oh yeah, let's check it out the next time. Check it out the next time. And then there was no more next time, people. So gotta get right on it. Get right on it for you people. <clears throat> Alright, moving. Moving, Chris. As we do, briskly along. Oh, it's for Von Klaus. He's announcing the Monster MD The Animation. What? A greetings, fiends. Well, Von, that's 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 pretty cool. Pretty cool in animation. 
Uh, greetings, fiends. I'm ecstatic to announce that we've been working on something very special for you all. Uh, Monster MD fans out there, including Bear. I really enjoyed that book. A thick book. Holy cow. Uh, now I can finally reveal a new monster. Uh, what would you say to a Monster MD animation? Uh, and he has a first uh, rough animatic on there. So there, is, there it is on the YouTube. Actually, can we go to that? Let's go to that. Hold on, people. One second. Let's see if we can do a thing here. Oh, shoot. I don't know if it brings it up on Beer's main one here. Let's see. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's see how we can do this. One second. Pause! Pause, gosh darn it! Um, hmm. um, one second, people. Talk amongst your shelves! Amongst your shelves out here. Let's see. Um, capture. Let's see. Do the thing with the thing. And then you do that. And you say okay, but it's too big because it never scales correctly. Or Monster shells. La -da 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 -da. There we go. All right, there we go. There we go. Now, Neil. Now we can actually do it. Okay, so you do the thing with the thing. Make it a lot to be all for crying out loud. Uh, okay. Um, there we go. Now you can see it. Now you can see it. That is from uh, Von Klaus doing an animatic. Doing an animatic, so we'll check it out here. Let's see. I, I can't share share any sound, so doesn't sound like there's anything. Hold on. Is it paused? Oh, it's paused. That's why. Holy cow! Look out! Oh, this isn't too bad. I think he's doing pretty good. An angel baby. Let's see, let me turn this down. There we go. There we go. Okay. So not bad. Anyways, beer will beer will continue. Uh, let's see, um, he says, uh, share around friends, fiends, rather, and let the world know Monster MD has only uh, just begun to make its mark. Uh, you can drop a like on the YouTube. Actually, let me copy and paste this here. Do the thing with the thing. Come on, beer, professional show, all that stuff. Let's see, is it going to go to the other? Of course it is. There we go. So there, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool indeed. <laughs> I, I'm not sure about the voices. I, I don't know if that's Von Klaus or not, but um, there you are. Pretty, pretty interesting there. Anyways, uh, drop us a like. And follow on my YouTube, uh, based on your feedback, I may be crowdfunding an animated pilot episode, holy cow, uh, or simply a standalone short. I would say just a short, Vaughn. I mean, man, oh man, Bear's limited, limited um, experience in animation, it is hard. Definitely hard out there. Uh, thank you all for your support. You're a fiend in comics. That would be from the Vonster. So there you go, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh, can, can, how long is this? Three and a half minutes. Three and a half minutes. We'll, we'll make it through. Make it through here. We gotta watch the whole thing. There we go. The animation. Monster MD, the animation. That is going to get a thumbs up from Beer. Oh, I gotta sign in. Ah, for crying out loud. Well, Von Beer will do that after the fact. After the fact here. There you go.
Don't smoke, kids. <laughs> okay. Anywho. Anywho, there you go. There is Monster MD, the animation. There we are. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff from the Vonster out here. All right, I did not see what was in the in the chat here. I agreed to see Fly Fox. Good to see you, sir. Uh, we can't hear it. I'm sorry. I, I, Beer's still trying to figure out how to do the uh, the audio. I, I don't know if they will allow you to do it on OBS and Apple. I, I, Beer's still trying to figure that out. There was a way to do it. It's just really, really complicated, and Beer's not going to go through all that. <clears throat> Let's see. Um... Uh, just so everyone knows, uh, P Money's here. He's just doing housework while listening. That's fine. That's fine. As long as, as long as you're hitting that thumbs up button, there you go. <clears throat> actually, actually, P Money is eating nachos and playing solitaire. Well, I, you're in a house and you're doing some sort of work. So uh, there we go. There you are. Uh, Vaughn is one of the few uh, good writer in uh, writers in this whole indie thing. I, I would throw Narwhal in there as well. Narwhal's doing pretty well. Um, I know many people don't want to hear it, but uh, uh, Cyberfrog 2, it's an excellent, excellent book and excellently written book out there. Very cool. Very good. Uh, beer is my third. The other two are Canadian comic reading beers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we shall see. We shall see. There it is. Hometown bias. Hometown bias. Just wait until the hockey playoffs. Man, oh man, that's going to be, that's going to be fun. And also, uh, from Vaughn out here, if Bear can get to it, here are we. Come on, man. What are we doing here? Uh, the new book that he has, uh, let's see, uh, uh, Terror in the Trenches? Terror in the Trenches. Fulfillment starts at the end May 5th. I, he had some issues with uh, printing, but uh, apparently he's got it fixed. He says, greeting, trenchers. Uh, my printer has gotten back to me with our final date in hand. That would be May 5th, people. Uh, so we will start fulfillment that day. Uh, so you can mark your calendars. Terror is coming in May. I'm not sure if you want to <laughs> broadcast that, but there you go. Uh, everyone who bought an Monster MD book. Uh, we'll get their book in a separate uh, package uh, from Tit. It's a big Tit. I mean, it's a big book out there. So there you go. Straight, straight out of the trenches. Compton! Compton! Uh, thank you all so much for your patience. That's fine. It's not like you're Antonio Brand and um, uh, you, you just disappear for months on time. I, I'm by, beyond excited to uh, get you your book. Uh, Tear in the Trenches 2. Is already being uh, drawn, uh, and uh, and we plan to have a faster campaign uh, for book number two. There you go, pretty cool. I, I guess this is from book number two here. I'm guessing this is book number two. Uh, so he says, uh, "See you in May," uh, and until then, tell your pair, uh, pals rather the terror has come back uh, to comics in a big way. Again, I'm not sure if that's entirely accurate out there. I don't want it to be uh, misquoted misquoted. Uh, oh, also he has, let me see if I can find that. He also has this, the uh, cave, or was it the cave slave? There we go. Cave slave uh, that he has. Uh, his story cave slave uh, can be bought now with the book, with Narwhal's book. That would be Cerberus. Uh, new story with uh, gifted rebels uh, called Psycho Killers uh, is uh, accepting sign up and launches uh, next month. So there you go. There you go. And also, his newest effort, Monster Empty. We just saw that uh, from his uh, new monster, new animation studio, rather, a Rare Glory Animation. There you go. Check that out. On the YouTubes. Well, we just checked it out. So there you are. That's what you got beer here for. Yes, indeed. So there we go. Cave. Cave slave with the long arm. She's got a really long arm for some reason. I don't know why. Not really sure what's going on there. All right, where, where are we? Come on, beer, professional show, all that stuff, yada, yada, yada. Um, 
Who's that? No, that's not it. Oh, Wraith of God. Here we go. There we go. <clears throat> the Blood Hunters a T-shirt update. That would be from Aaron. The great Aaron Lepresti out here. Yes, indeed. <laughs> uh, Fly Fox Pro says, I forgot Brand even existed. I never backed it. Uh, yeah. Uh, Kanan White, excellent artist. I think he had to do... Uh, 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 there was some issue that came up. I'm not sure exactly what happened. He got about halfway through. Uh, some issue came up, so they had to find a new, a, a, a new or a, a different artist or something. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. Uh, we've got a, a steampunk Christmas. I don't know. Uh, when did Flyfox become a mod here? I don't know. Did we, did we mod you, sir? Eh, well, you're modded now, sir. Welcome to the family. Anyways, Aaron Lopresti. Hey, everyone. Hey, Aaron. I, I just finished, uh, finally, uh, pages 38 and 39, a double-page spread of Wraith of God. Blood Hunters. I, I tend to do a lot of redrawing when it comes to uh, splash pages and double-page splashes. And this one was no exception. But I, I think, let's see. Let's see where it was here. I thought he had it. Oh, here it is. Here it is. There we go. I think I think that's the one that he's talking about. <clears throat> uh, but on, on to page 40. Uh, also, we're almost uh, through shipping out the t-shirts, but I found that we are missing a couple of 3x. Three, three not 1x, not 2x. 3x uh, Dale Keown werewolf shirts uh, from inventory. <laughs> three, oh, man. Wow. Uh, if you received a 3x by mistake, uh, please email him. And uh, he's got the email link there. Uh, we want to make sure that everyone gets exactly what they ordered. And sadly, uh, we're not above making a shipping mistake or two. It's fine. Uh, in other news, uh, Kelsey Shannon has come aboard to color uh, the nightclub stories. So uh, we should all be excited about that. Uh, otherwise, full steam ahead. And he says, uh, thank you for backing and supporting this exciting campaign. And also... Our good friend Billy Tucci uh, has his Zombie Sama campaign uh, ready to go to the printer. So if you haven't backed that yet, there's still a little time. So you can go check out. I, w I wonder if Zombie Sama is a uh, shadow band. That would be, be kind of interesting there. So there you are. There is the, there's the double page. Double page. One of these days. Uh, uh, spread there from Aaron. So there you go. And also from Aaron. Also from Aaron, he has, let me get to it here, <clears throat> another t-shirt update. Hi everyone, hi Aaron. Uh, sorry for sending two updates in one day, but I figured out the shirt, the shirt problem, S-H-I-R-T problem. I, I have one extra 2X and one extra 4X shirts, holy cow. I, I guess he knows his audience. Uh, that means I sent out a 3X to someone who needs a 2x, and I sent out a 3x. Out of someone who needs a 4x. Four... <laughs> uh, don't let them eat your lunch, Aaron. I, I will need those 3x's back, and uh, you need to correct the size sent to you. Uh, if you're one of those customers, let him know as soon as you can. He needs those 3x's back, and you'll get your correct size immediately. You don't want to piss off anybody uh, that's that's getting a 3X or a 4X size shirt out there. I, I will cover your shipping costs and send the shirt uh, back. Sorry for the mistake on my part. It's not the first time, but hopefully the last. Thank you all for your support. For your 4X Dilkey owned shirts out there. 4X. Not 1X. Not 2X. Not even 3X. That'd be Quattro X. Quattro X's out there. <laughs> Can a 4X person even catch you? Uh, maybe if they're rolling downhill. Maybe if they're rolling down here. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, Flyfox says, The only thing I'm still waiting on is Doom Kicker in Lone Star. Well, well, sir, you were... I, I have no idea what's going on with Doom Kicker. I... I Apparently it's being worked on, but um, a little, little maybe off and on. I don't know. Maybe we can ask. Um, if they're doing the drawn and quarter tonight, maybe we can ask Elliot about that. 
Um, Lone Star, Lone Star is cursed. Lone Star is cursed. He's on his, what, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, I don't know, a, a, a colorist out there, so we'll see. We will see whenever we get, a beer continues to say, just hire Kelsey Shannon. Get in, get in, get out, get it done. Get it done, man. Yeah, let's see, a beer is still waiting I forgot completely about brand. Uh, we're never going to get cash grab, of course. Um, oh, oh, Sovereign. Sovereign. <laughs> Holy moly. Uh, that campaign's never coming out. Um, oh, uh, Dragon Guard. Dragon Guard out here. One of these days we'll get to Dragon Guard. Uh, hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. I, I know Kevin's working on it, for sure. Um, Bear got Cyberfrog, finally. Um, yeah, that's about it. I, I, that's the only ones that Bear can think that are kind of running late. Running late for Bear. All right, let's see. Where are we? Come on, Bear. Get it together, man. There you go. Oh, that's the... That's that. Oh, there's the cover. There's that. Uh, ah, here it is. Professional show. Yada, yada, yada. Grab a drink. Come on, Bear. Yes. Yeah, I owe a beer is waiting on Dragon Guard. Yes, indeed. It'll come. It will come. Beer, beer has faith in poor old Kevin. Kevin's having uh, apparently some some medical issues, health issues out there. Uh, not that Bear is blaming the Wu flu vax, but he's blaming the Wu flu vax. <clears throat> oh, poor me, poor me, money. Uh, you aren't waiting on a sovereign, and det I apologize about Detective Dead. I'm sure those are coming out soon. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> Let's see, uh, Sovereign was updated, what, more than six months ago? But he was like, well, we'll get back to you right away, and then he never did. So, uh, Detective Dead is dead. Uh, 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 Critias, Critias is probably in a uh, witness protection program um, somewhere. Somewhere here in Florida, but uh, Bear, Bear's not going to go and search for it. No, sir. <clears throat> uh, P. Money finally got uh, the good night a couple weeks ago. That's right. That's right. I remember that. Uh, let's see. Flyfox says, every comic I've been involved in uh, has been fulfilled and shipped on time. Uh, of course, I had little to do with it. <laughs> Flyfox still has faith in Critias. Uh, you're... You're the only one, sir. You are the only one. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Uh, uh, where are we? Uh, uh, Shane Davis. Inglorious Rex. Part two. Uh, the campaign is closing down, people. Uh, they're planning to take down Inglorious Rex on April 26th. Or 26th of April. Uh, in demand uh, ends on that date. Uh, and you will not be able to back the campaign after the 26th. Uh, the campaign... Uh, on our website, Nine Lives, will also come out that day, uh, come down that day, uh, which means the uh, site-exclusive cover will be gone for good. Uh, if you've not backed Inglorious Rex, uh, now is your chance before the campaign closes in less than a month. And he's got some beautiful... Oops, we shared that the last time, did I? Bring up the other one? There we go. There it is. A fist bump. Uh, thank you for supporting our third crowdfunding book. Uh, we look forward to getting the book into your hands and or claws. Yes, indeed. So there we go. Fist bump. Fist bump. So there you are. There you are. I thought I had the, uh, I thought I had the cover, but I, beer does not. Got the other covers, though. Let's see. Where are they? Where are the other covers? Here we are. Inglorious Rex. There you go. So some good stuff. Uh, I, I don't know where the other... There's a third cover of it beer. I'd have to go search for it. Ah, that might take forever, people. That might just... That might just do it for beer. He would just... Ah, I'm done with this. Rawr. And then and then that would be that. There we go. All right, let me... Gosh, I got so many things here. Oh, I need to clean up OBS. That might be... That might be an all-day challenge there. All right. Um, there we go. Uh, there we are. Uh, Eric Nanotowski. He's got a print winner announcement. Uh, Eric Nanotowski is, um, uh, has a book out, uh, Shadow Sentry, 
So you can go check that out. A green, greeting subscriber. That is Bear's line, sir. That is Bear's line. Uh, this weekend was fantastic and a fun show at WonderCon. Uh, we had a bunch of new subscribers joining our mail mailing list, and as promised, he has a winner to announce. Uh, who gets a print of their choice? Uh, also, while I was choosing a winner from Comic Con WonderCon, uh, it uh, got me thinking about all of my faithful subscribers uh, who have been here since the beginning. Uh, you all deserve to win something as well. Uh, so guess what? He is introducing the random subscriber drawing. Uh, every time I do a new email uh, subscriber drawing, uh, and a new subscriber wins a print of their choice, I will be picking another lucky winner from the already existing subscriber list. Uh, so you'll have more chances to win. Uh, you also get uh, uh, to choose a print of your choice from his print list. Oh, pardon me. Uh, shipped to you at no cost. Uh, just my way of saying thank you for being a faithful subscriber. Uh, new subscribers will then be moved into the existing list, and you'll have other opportunities to be chosen. That is a lot of spider bands. Holy cow. That is, that is quite a bit. At least they're wearing masks. At least they're wearing masks. Except for that one lady. That's all right. She, she doesn't need to wear a mask. Uh, is is Spider-Man in jeans? Is that the guy next to her? Hmm. Spider-Man in jeans. Okay. Uh, anyways, if you were a real comps out there, you won. And also Andy Smith art. Pretty cool. Uh, if you didn't win around, uh, didn't win this time around, don't worry. There'll be more opportunities to win very soon. Uh, da -da -da. What the heck? What is going on? Oh, there's Eric. There he goes. It's a very, very interesting umbrella. I don't know if that'll hold out the rain or not. Might get a little soggy. Just a touch. Uh, here are a few new prints to keep an eye out for. That'd be Blue Beetle and Spider-Man. Uh, twenty ninety nine. Uh, be sure to follow me on your favorite social media uh, to see when these are complete. So there you go. There is, there's Eric Needletelsky. I'm doing some great stuff, including, including his work on. Um, uh, Shadow Sentry out there. Ah, the Booth Babes. Yes, indeed. Still not sure about that umbrella, though. That umbrella really... Really confuses Bear quite a bit. Not really sure about that. Uh, anywho, congratulations. Uh, Real Comps, Andy Smith Art. Go check out Eric Nagletowski's... That would be his, his uh, art, art page there. Go check out. Get on his email list. And you, sir, might be a winner. You could be. Yes, indeed. All right, let's see. Where are we? What are we doing? Oh, and finally, finally, people, one last thing. Because we've actually got... What is this? Oops, that's not it. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, we've got... Uh, from Gary Shipman out here. He's got two projects and two campaigns. Uh, the Packin's Land 25th Anniversary Campaign on Kickstarter, boo, and Titan, uh, Titan 3 Campaign on Indiegogo, eh, so there you are. No, really, there, that, that's it, that's, okay, I thought there, Bear thought there was more, uh, apparently not. Here, here, let's, let's, um, uh, quick, Bear, quick, there we go, there is some Titan artwork. <laughs> Gary, come on, man, you, you need to put, you need to put something else in here besides... Besides just two books. Anyways, uh, if you are new here, if you're one of the new new viewers out here, uh, kind of the thing with Comic Skates is we don't really kind of uh, go with Kickstarter very much. It cook, uh, kicked off a number of um, artists um, uh, when Comic Skate was first starting out here. So I uh, went over to Indiegogo. Indiegogo has been great for the longest time, and then they've gotten a little, a little shaky. A little shaky here. So... Um, we're trying to figure all that stuff out. Hopefully, it will work out with Indiegogo. Uh, otherwise, eh, we're going to try and do something different, probably. Probably do something different. Gary is Fly Fox Pro's favorite artist. He is so good. He is so good. Uh, P, uh, P Money says, I don't love Booth Babes. Uh, I just admire the female form of the Booth Babe while my heart 
uh, it starts beating faster. This is true. This is true. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, fund my comic. There we go. There we go. Uh, here, here's Bear's uh, only thing. Here's Bear's only thing. Uh, uh, whether it's uh, find my comic, whether it's uh, you know the the Nine Lives comic or Eric Nutowski or whoever. Uh, uh, Gary starts his own thing. Please, 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 make sure that you are building up a safe and secure website that doesn't have people's credit cards in plain view, in plain text. Please don't do that. Please, whatever you do. And also make sure that uh, you know, any nefarious people out there that might want to do some doxing uh, don't get access to people's uh, uh, home addresses out there. That would be, that'd be kind of the two things that Bear would suggest to anybody out there that's trying to uh, do their own sorts of Indiegogo type um, or Kickstarter type uh, operation out there. Make sure, please, for the love of Pete, make sure you got some uh, cyber security going on. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I'm <clears throat> oh, to see Margo for Anthony. Haven't seen him. I, somehow, Fly Fox gets a gets a, uh, uh, a wrench, but uh, Mark does not. Apparently, let's. Where is Jiminy? Where is Jiminy at? Good thing. Good thing Jiminy isn't around. Otherwise, otherwise he might get the boot. <clears throat> let's see. Uh, who knew umbrellas are the thing that confuses bears the most? Uh, it's one of those. It's right up there. Right, right up there. Uh, the boys love their bears. Oh, there we go. Very cool. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, Marco Franti says, uh, saving lots of money with few expectations, uh, exceptions, rather. Uh, not really uh, backing new crowdfunders until I get a few others. Uh, uh, Mark, you weren't here. Uh, you might not have been here when Beer was talking. Beer would recommend, if if he could. If Beer could recommend um, uh, Cerberus, the, the new one here from uh, Normal. Uh, looks looks really get rid of that. Looks really interesting here. Um, I, I know some people don't like uh, some of the artwork, but uh, I tell you, every single time Narwhal Narwhal's delivered, either either him or um, uh, your boy Zach when he's working with your boy Zach out there. Where am I doing? There's the there's the cover right there. And Cave Girl, you can get Cave Girl as well. Uh, so yeah, that, that would be one that Bear would recommend there. I, I, Bear sees where you're coming from. I don't, I'm not complaining any any way there. That seems very appropriate. But uh, yeah, go ahead, check out, uh, check out. Uh, Bear might actually do a campaign review of um, of Cerberus out here. So uh, uh, don't completely close your wallet uh, just because people like you know Antonio Bryce. We we're just talking about brand. Um, uh, some others out there that are. Um, uh, way, way, way light out there. Uh, don't let that discourage you from, you know, supporting some of the people that probably should be supported, like Narwhal, uh, Eric Noodletowski is another good one. Um, uh, folks, folks like that out there. So there you go. There we are. Let's see, did I get everything? Hold on one second here, people. Da -da 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 I got carries. Okay, yes, there we go. <gasps> Whew, man, oh man, that was a lot. That was a lot of campaign updates. Uh, Beer didn't do it on Saturday. So uh, there we go. Had to had to catch up here, people. All right, where are we? What are we doing? Da, 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 da. Let me get the thing with the thing. All situated. Grab a drink, Beer, for crying out loud. Ah. Uh, let's see, uh, uh, Peabody asks, has credit card info on a website been a problem lately? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Fly Fox says, I am planning on putting stuff on Global Comics. Uh, not sure when I'll do a crowdfunding for his books. There we go. Uh, only your credit card info, uh, Peabody. <laughs> Let's see. The joke's on them. My credit card info, uh, credit cards are all maxed out. Well, there. That that works. That works as well. You know, people are all worried, worried about the bank runs. Oh, my God, there's going to be a bank run. It's like, no. <laughs> Bear's not going to lose any money because Bear doesn't have his money in the bank. So the joke is on them. Ha ha.
let's see. Um, oh, uh, Marco Fori Anthony is money shy right now, but he will will check them out. Yeah, I, that's all that beer can do is just say, hey, go go check these stuff out. It's up to you. It's up to you. You know, a lot of the very beginnings of comic skate out there. You know, a lot of a lot of uh, backers were, you know, taking a risk. You know, it's like, okay, is this actually going to you know, deliver, or is they going to pull a critics out there and just completely disappear? Um, Bear would say probably 90, 95% of the books uh, that he's backed have actually come in. You know, a couple others late. Um, uh, uh, you know, might not ever see, like, um, uh, oh gosh. Um, <laughs> we were just talking about it. Oh, for crying out loud. Um, uh, anyways, a number of books out there uh, that aren't coming in, but uh, the, the ratio is pretty low. Pretty low. I found that uh, uh, more artists than not uh, will uh, will deliver, and the ones that don't kind of get filtered out there. So um, there you are. But I can see where you come from. Uh, Gravestone Press delivers all the books, says uh, Flyfox, uh, and has pretty good track record with a minor blemish due to their... Uh, due uh, to out of control uh, situations of delivering on time and his promise. Sorry, the beer is trying to read sometimes. It's a little small. <clears throat> um, beer keeps all his money in salmon. Thank you, Amy. That's true. That is true. It is a good investment. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Marco for Anthony is buying most of it to corner the market. Well. Ah, man, oh man, might have to do something about that. Critius will come through, don't besmirch his good name? I, I know somebody, there was a, there was a thought out there one time of like, have a whole bunch of art. Critius was trying to put out like, what was it? Like a 200 page book or some crazy amount. It was just, it, it wouldn't have worked even if he, he could do it, but I, they had a, a number of pages that were close to being finished or finished, uh, but plenty that weren't. And they're, they're, one of the recommendations was just have like a group of artists come together and just do like like five pages a piece or something like that and finish out the book. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see about that. His good his good name. Oh, poor Curtis. Let's see. Um. Yeah, I agree, Mark. I agree. I don't mind situations out of the creator's control. Uh, it's going radio silent for months uh, that irks him. Yes, indeed. So there you go. That would be... Uh, Beer makes an exception for the books that were in the sort of late 2019-2020 phase. Um, remember covering it at the time. Uh, uh, China basically... China! China just shut down like all their printers and everything. And let's see, I remember... Um, John Malin, I think, just got his Graveyard Shift 2 out. Like, barely got it out. And, and Kyung Lee, I remember having uh, some issues, was barely able to get his books out, and then everything kind of shut down. So uh, there were there were many issues with that, and then, of course, all the lockdowns and all that other stuff. So uh, Beer kind of makes an exception there. But, yeah, if you're here in 2023, and you're saying, hey, I'm going to have a book by the end of the year, and then it's 2024, 2025... Eh, there, there's not that many excuses left there, so uh, at least I, I think a number of people have learned from that and are starting to uh, have like a portion or even half of the book. I, I know Brian Shearer, that's that's another one, uh, The Gunship. Uh, Brian Shearer on his next book, he's going to say, I'm going to complete the book and then I'm going to start the campaign. So there's a number of people out there doing that as well, so... Uh, I, I think there's a little bit of learning going on, people figuring out, oh, okay, this other campaign th did this, let me try this or something different, so there you go. I, I think, hopefully, most of that stuff has worked out by now. Hopefully. Uh, let's see, um, Firefox is exciting for the Lester's new game, very cool. Uh, he, he said he would draw a page for it, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Can't wait to show everyone, says Amy. Uh, let's see. Um, Fly Fox says, the problem is how he would ship it, even if it was made. Uh, there's no money left. Well, that's why you gotta do, you know. 
if you're promising people something and you go uh, belly up on it, uh, you still probably are going to have to deliver it. You're just going to have to pull it out of your own pocket there. And that's that's just bad judgment at the time. you got, you got to kind of figure out, uh, if Beer remembers correctly on, on uh, Narwhal's show last night, uh, he was talking like he wanted to get 15k, which he was getting close to, but really it was 30k that he was looking to get out to basically make everything uh, break even. So anything over 30k was going to be, you know, uh, helpful, helpful to him, and um, uh, being able to get out under 30k is going to be kind of an issue. You know, he's got got other books that he's delivered. Maybe he built up a little bit of a fund there, so maybe he could tap into that if uh, people don't go check out Cerberus. But um, there you go. Go check out Cerberus, people. In Cave Slave. Definitely Cave Slave. And our long arms. Those are long arms out there. Yes, indeed. All right. We're... Where is beer and all this, for crying out loud? Ah. Um, hmm. Uh, ba This uh, story broke uh, as beer was starting his Saturday show. So beer, like, literally saw it and it was like, I'm doing something completely different. We're talking about Rambo here. Didn't want to get into it. I uh, wanted to say, okay, let's at least figure out, you know, a couple couple hours, couple days, things might change. I'm just going to mention this here. This isn't this isn't going to be a, a topic that Beer's going to talk about, but let me see, where is it here? Do the thing with the thing. There we go. Uh, Kang. Kang was charged here. Uh, uh, Marvel star Johnson Major uh, officially charged with multiple counts of assault and harassment uh, following alleged domestic abuse. Uh, Beer's comment on this is, um, you know, it's a dispute between two people. Uh, he said, she said, uh, Beer's not taking a side either which way here. Um, obviously, you know, nobody's nobody's for domestic violence or anything like that out here. There's been rumors out here, and I just want to stress rumors out there uh, with, with um, uh, Jonathan Major's past out here. Here's going to leave that into the side. It's just a rumor out there, but uh, there you go. Just wanted to make mention of it here. We're going to talk about some Disney stuff, but um, just wanted to make mention. And also, uh, uh, compare and contrast here. Not not promoting anything like that, but compare and contrast. Uh, Jonathan Majors apparently uh, had a altercation. Altercation with his, I'm, I'm assuming, girlfriend. I think it was his girlfriend out here. Uh, hold on. Anyways, a, a woman that he was with uh, allegedly abused out there. Uh, he's been uh, charged, charged out here. And, of course, you know, everybody's looking at, oh, you know, uh, are the Marvel movies in trouble? You know, what's going to uh, go on with that? Just want to compare and contrast. Uh, Jonathan Major's out there with what he has allegedly done. Uh, with Ezra Miller, with what he has been um, uh, convicted of and also alleged uh, to have done out there, uh, uh, completely two different takes. Uh, people are starting to question uh, the new movies. Uh, Jonathan Majors had an uh, uh, ad spot that he was doing for the Army. Uh, that got pulled, uh, but we're still getting the flash. So, um, <laughs> yeah, just, you know... Uh, and of course, you know, you never want to get into it. Everybody's all the same on the inside, but you got a black man and you got a white guy out there uh, treated completely different. So anyways, that is, that's Beer's only comment on the, on the whole, whole situation out here. This literally, did it have a time? Uh, uh, Spencer McCooley out here. I literally came out as Beer was um, uh, starting the show. So uh, there we go. I'm not going to get into Getting into all of that, they're talking about the district attorney's office, yada, yada, yada. We, we won't, won't get into the, any of that. Just wanted to make, make notice and make mention of that. <clears throat> yes, indeed. All right, moving. Moving. Moving quickly along here. Uh, bounding into comics. After an abysmal opening weekend, Shazam! Fury of the Gods uh, plummets in its second weekend at the box office. Uh, who would have figured that? Who would have? Well, uh, a bear. Bear figured that out pretty, pretty quickly out here, but uh, there we go. 
Shazam! A Fury of the Gods crashed in its second weekend at the box office, following an abysmal opening weekend. I think it made, what was it, like 50? No, excuse me, 30! Holy cow. $30 million. The first film made uh, $53 million back in April of 2019. Ah, uh, before the woo. Uh, things did not get better for the uh, film in its second weekend, as the film saw a horrific 69% drop at the box office. Uh, Bear actually saw uh, uh, up to 80%, so uh, well, let's, let's just call it 75% drop-off. A... a whole bunch of people just says, eh, eh, we'll, we'll pass. It only grossed an estimated $9.3 million uh, in its second weekend. That's, that's pretty, pretty shabby. And by the way, uh, the last, the last movie that we're going to see Gal Gadot is Wonder Woman. And of course, it's all going to be bokeh and freaking out of focus. Why? Come on, people, just focus the camera for crying out loud. Not that hard. They teach it in film school. Um, uh, one of the things Bear's talking about here. Um, uh, uh, you see how all out of focus everything is. I, uh, this isn't a promotion or anything like that. Let me just go back to the Rambo stuff here. Let me go in. I'm just going to pick a random one here. Well, that's not a good random one here. There we go. That, now you can see stuff. See, look, all that stuff's in focus. All that stuff is in focus. I mean, sure, it's... Maybe blurred in the background just a little bit there, but you're focusing in on the main character there. Focusing in on them. So, um, anyways, there's just screen grabs from a film that came out, what, 35 years ago or something like that. They can't, they can't figure it out. Crying out loud. Crying out loud, I tell you. Out of focus. All out of focus every single time. Uh, the film has grossed uh, $45.9 million domestically and another $56.1 million internationally for a total gross of $102 million on a budget of, I think, $150 million. Uh, box office analysis OMB Reviews uh, shared his thoughts on why the film is doing so poorly at the box office. Uh, he says, uh, the film really isn't that bad. Uh, to lose that kind of money. I've seen worse films than Shazam 2. Uh, that being said, it's not a good film. And it's definitely not a great film. And so that makes it com uh, makes complete sense to me uh, why people are not uh, just going to see this movie. I, there, there's no point to it. Uh, he continued, uh, and so you add on the fact uh, that they brought someone like James Gunn, uh, and he's gone out of his way to say uh, really stupid things like, uh, hey, yeah, Henry Cavill's gone. Uh, this person's gone. Poor Gal Gadot is gone. That's our last movie. Our last D um, DC uh, Comics movie. Uh, why would anyone actually want to show up to these movies to support them uh, when they know why? Uh, why would I want to invest the time and money uh, when I know already the plan going forward, or at least uh, who's uh, not in the plan going forward. Uh, that's a confusing sentence there. Uh, he added, we're um, seeing this ultimately lead to some massive financial losses for Warner Brothers. Hmm. Who, who would have seen that coming? Uh, to OMB's, uh, OMB Reviews' point, uh, Gunn made it clear uh, that the upcoming The Flash film uh, would reset the DCU, implying the characters like Shazam. Again, The Flash. The Flash is coming out. But uh, poor Jonathan Majors. Again, I don't know anything about it, but uh, just comparing the two. Uh, anyways, uh, The Flash would reset the DCU, implying characters like Shazam uh, would more likely than not uh, be part of his a new vision for the DCU, especially when it's only making $9 million in its second weekend. Uh, when announcing the first chapter of the DCU slate uh, would look like, uh, Gunn said, uh, first, uh, we have Shazam. People, follow, see if we can follow along this, this word salad here. First, we have Shazam, Fury of the Gods. Shazam has always been off kind of in his own part of the DCU, so he connects very well? Question mark? Uh, that moves directly into The Flash, a fantastic movie that I really love. That resets the entire DC universe. So why go see any of those? What? Why? By the way, does this make any sense? Shazam has always been off on his own part of the DCU, so he connects really well because he's been off on his own part of the DCU. Doesn't make a lick of sense out here. 
Uh, on top of Gun announcing that Shazam has always been off the zone, but uh, would connect very well, uh, something that doesn't really... I just said that for crying out loud. Uh, anyhow, uh, um, blah, 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 talks about Black Adam. And poor The Rock. Oh, The Rock out here. Poor guy. Just got shafted. Just got shafted. Uh, anyways, uh, let's see. Uh, cinema score. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Um, mediocre cinema score. I am uh, IMDb user rating is a paltry 6.66666. So there we go. There you are. Uh, for a comparison, the first Shazam uh, had a cinema score of A. And the IMB, uh, IMDb uh, nearly a point higher at 7%. So there you are. There, there you go. Anyhow, what else? I don't know. What else? Um, yeah, average special effects. I mean, average. Again, out of focus. What's up? What's up? Why is everything got to be out of focus? Or, anywho. Uh, on top of this film, uh, the script writer claimed that the film would make clear that uh, Billy Badston's foster brother... This is close one. Pedro, Pedro, not Pedo, people. That's where Bear was going with it. Whew, had, had to read it real quick here. Uh, Billy Baston's foster brother, Pedro, Pedro, uh, was gay. Was gay out here. Which one's Pedro? The one on the left, really? Wow. <laughs> Uh, I, Bear has a joke. I'm not gonna go there. Not, not gonna go there. Could. I could. Has to do with fudge. But I'm not gonna go there. Not gonna go there, people. Uh, obviously, another contributing factor was stiff competition. In its second week, with uh, John Wick, a uh, chapter four, hauling in $73 billion. Holy cow. Uh, for a total global gross of 137 uh, yeah, but still, they should, I mean, I don't know if the John Wick audience crosses over with the uh, Shazam audience. I'm not sure if that, I'm not sure if that crosses, uh, John Wick is rated R, right? I think it's rated R. Oh, what do you make of Shazam Fear of the Gods? Terrible, a uh, second season, a uh, second weekend, rather, at the box office. Um, I, I, I blame, I, I'm blaming this guy over here. I, I'm blaming, uh, what was his name? Pe Pedro. Pedro. Pedro out here. There we go. So there you go. Uh, what do I make of it? Beer, beer called it the, the, the first weekend. I'm like, I'm not sure this is going to do really well. And then it didn't. So there we go. Beer was right. Beer was right the whole time. There we go. Holy cow. I, I am way behind on the on the chats here. Let me see. Um, it's a good idea. Get the book mostly done before the campaign. Let's see. Um... Well, I used to watch uh, him on his stream all the time. Lately, not so much. Uh, I don't know who you're talking about. Um, crowdfund a road trip to deliver all the books personally. That's interesting. I, that, that's not a bad idea. Not, not. Uh, let's see. Um, <laughs> stretch goal. Stretch goal at thirty thousand. You actually get your book. <laughs> stretch goal at thirty-five thousand dollars. We will actually put postage. On, on the package. There we go. <laughs> Let's see. Um. Oh uh, yes, the mar we'll get we'll get to. I, I've got the I've got the story right here. They're unplugging the metaverse. Unplugging the metaverse. But yeah, there you go. Uh, uh, Marvel movies are in trouble. In fact, in fact, we actually have. Let me see, where was it? Uh, they, they actually laid off um, the, the guy that actually ran Marvel for a, a number of years. The comic, the comic side of things. And then he got into, I, I want to say it was toys. I, I think he was in charge of toys at the time. Anyways, they laid him off. So there we go. There you are. All sorts of slashes and cuts. Let's see, where was I? Um... Uh, Fly Fox says, I haven't watched a Marvel movie since Endgame. Uh, Spider-Man doesn't count because it's not Disney. It is Sony. Yes, sir. You were correct. Uh, having the Marvel family was a huge mistake. Uh, I knew the sequel would be terrible. The first one showed all the signs 
that it would be bad. There you go. A and plus, I mean, well, I don't know. Do they show all of them there? There we go. Uh, when, when everybody can become a superhero, nobody can become a superhero. Or, yeah, when everybody's a... When everybody can become a superhero, yeah, nobody can become... It's it's all just... I mean, you just reset everything. So it's... I don't know. Silly. I'm just going to leave it on... I'm going to leave it on Gal Gadot here. <sighs> uh, focus of camera or light, you can only choose one. Let's see. Um... <sighs> You're killing bear here. Um, focus. Uh, bear's got to go with focus. Uh, you can get away with bad lighting. Uh, everything being out of focus all the time. Um, you, you can't counteract that with good lighting. I, I don't think that would work. I don't think you, you would. <laughs> you'd be looking for your glasses the entire time, and it would. You'd just give you a headache. So, yeah, I, I would probably say uh, uh, camera focus. Uh, shared uh, universe DC movies uh, were a mistake, says uh, Fly Fox. Um, I, I they could probably be interconnected, but just loosely. You know, just let your characters live off on their own. You know, Superman's got Metropolis, and um, and, and Batman's got Gotham. It is kind of really weird seeing in the in the in the what was that the Justice League movie? Oh yeah, there's Gotham right right across the river. And it's like why, why why would you have two cities? You know, like like that just doesn't make any sense. So yeah, I just have them doing their own thing, and every once in a while, you know, kind of coming together, or linking up. Eh, that would work. That would work. Um, again, you kind of get into that issue with. You know, uh, Jonathan Majors out there, or um, what's his name? Uh, uh, Chadwick, Chadwick Boseman out here. Uh, he, um, uh, you know, he he died. He died out there. So they're like, all right, we're gonna we're gonna make Black Panther two, but there's no more Black Panther. Well, we'll just pick another character in the background there, and that'll be Black Panther. Oh, okay, but it's not even a dude. It's a she. Well, we think it's well, it's 2023, 57 genders. Who cares? But. Um, uh, yeah, that, that becomes a thing. It's like, okay, well, our main character died, so how do we do a number two? You know, that just doesn't work. So, um, yeah, it, trying to set up everything and then something goes wrong, it's like, okay, what do we do now? Eh, I don't know, whatever. What? Whatever. <clears throat> Let's see. Um... <laughs> Let's see, P-Money says, I don't know what anyone is talking about. Uh, I'll see Gal Gadot in her Wonder Woman costume again. Uh, once I close my eyes and go to sleep. Well, it's right there, P-Money. You don't have to, don't have to do any of that. <clears throat> Bear is a model of her strength. There was, a, there was a fudge joke in there that Bear didn't do. Bear didn't do. Uh, who's been messing up everything? It was Comics Bear all along. That's probably true. That, that's probably true. Uh, who's been pulling every evil string? It's been Comics Bear all along. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> no, if Bear was pulling strings, he would do do a lot better. But he'd still have Gal Gadot in, in the Wonder Woman suit. I mean, get rid of, what was her name? Uh, Patty Jenkins. Uh, get, get rid of her. Get, get a better director in there. Get a better script, for crying out loud. Uh, she, she's a natural. She was born to play Wonder Woman... Same thing with Henry Cavill. Like, you know, why, why? Oh, he's too old. Yeah, yeah, old Henry Cavill. In a wheelchair with crutches. I mean, like, come on, man. Give me a break. Give Bear a break. Uh-oh, burgers. Burgers. Burgers everywhere. Burgers everywhere. All right, moving. Moving along here, people. Because I know everyone wanted to talk about crypto. Uh, close enough. Close enough. Uh, Disney unplugs the Metaverse uh, unit during the initial rounds uh, of layoffs. Initial rounds. <laughs> that being uh, the key part right there. The initial rounds. Uh, let's see. Uh, Disney. Hold on, hold on. Jennifer As Aniston says, Comedy has changed, and some today find friends offensive. How would you find friends? That was the least offensive comedy. Oh, for crying out loud. I don't think there was a sensitivity like there is now. Bear stands behind Jennifer Aniston. Stands behind her. 
Uh, Disney has eliminated a small business unit. <laughs> what? A small business unit? Get out of here. Disney's one of the largest corporations. Yeah, they, a small business unit within Disney. Get out of here. Uh, fo focused on exploring the metaverse, uh, part of its initial efforts, uh, to reduce its workforce uh, by about 7,000 employees. Holy cow. Uh, about 50 workers were part of the group dedicated uh, to next-generation storytelling and consumer experiences. This was kind of the the other Bob, the Bob Chapik out here. Um, uh, he he kind of started that. Uh, it, not really sure where he was going with it, but it was like, hey, if Facebook's doing it, we got to do it as well. Quick, here's here's the money. Here's money. Just just burn it. Just burn it out here. Uh, the elimination of the unit, uh, first reported by the Wall Street Journal, uh, was confirmed to deadline by a person familiar uh, with the staff reductions. Probably somebody that got fired. Probably, oh, by the way, uh, deadline and um, uh, Dady Hayes. Dady Hayes. Uh, Mike White, a former consumer products exec uh, who had been leading the unit, will remain at the company in a yet-to-be-determined role. Uh, sources say on Monday, uh, Disney CEO Bob Iger uh, confirmed in a staff memo that the first, the first of three rounds of layoffs is starting this week as the company pushes towards the stated goal of a minor $5.5 billion in cost savings. A word emerged Monday evening that a number of exec departures across the company's general entertainment options, uh, operations rather. Uh, former CEO uh, Bob Chapik at one time talked about the metaverse. There we go. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Bob Edgar, uh, who preceded Chapik and then succeeded him. That's kind of odd. Kind of odd how they did that, but there you go. Uh, has made a point of undoing certain Chapik initiatives. There you go. So that's probably one, one reason why. One reason why. <laughs> so there you are. There is, there is part one. Part one of the Disney... Disney layoffs, part two, that we talked about it just a moment ago. Disney lays off Marvel Entertainment Chairman Isaac Apolmacher, uh, Timothy Adams over at comicbook.com. Uh, Disney's controversial, <laughs> controversial, oh, they're controversial now, because they, they got rid of the uh, lesbian Latinx out there, I, I guess that's why. Uh, layoffs have now hit the uh, chairman of Marvel Entertainment. Uh, New York Times uh, uh, reports uh, uh, Isaac Ike uh, uh, Perlmutter uh, has been laid off with Disney confirming the move. Uh, he was reportedly uh, told of the layoff over a phone call. Poor guy. They didn't even bother to call him into the office. Hey, hey, hey pick up the phone. Uh, at least it wasn't a Zoom call. Uh, that includes the news uh, that Marvel Entertainment will be folded into Disney's larger business units. That would be the, the comic book side of things. Uh, will be uh, folded. Uh, with an estimated 7,000 uh, jobs cut, uh, which is about 4% of its global number. Uh, Disney. Disney's global number. And the layoffs are uh, to help to cut down $5.5 billion needed to improve the company's financial numbers. Gosh, there's only one thing that they could do to do better. Huh. I wonder maybe if you didn't get into a tussle uh, with the Florida governor, uh, if you started to make, I don't know, better films, uh, if you didn't try to groom a bunch of children, uh, maybe, maybe people might uh, start to trust you a little bit more and come back to your films. Maybe. I, I don't know for certain. But uh, what, what could you lose, Disney? What could you lose? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's see. He wrote some stuff. I, Bob Chapik is just word salad. I, it, it just doesn't mean... It, he says things, but it has no meaning to them. It's just words on a piece of paper. Until he fires you. Until he fires you. But there you go. Uh, Marvel Entertainment falls into other Disney units. Uh, Kevin Feige, no clue of what he's doing out there, but uh, he, he's safe. He is completely safe. Uh, there was a rumor out there that the... um. Uh, uh, Mr. Pearl, Pearl Mutcher, uh, out here, wanted to get rid of uh, Kevin Feige. I uh, thought some of the films were uh, lacking in quality. Uh, so who'd, who did they get rid of? Uh, they got rid of old Ike out here. He says, Ike, hit the door, pal. 
we're standing, we're standing with Kevin out here. And his, and his hats. And his hats. Oh, here we go. Marvel Entertainment also includes uh, theme parks uh, and video games out here. So there you go. There you are. Yeah, we talked about the metaverse. The metaverse out here. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> NFTs. NFTs, says Marco Polanco. Still wanting beer to talk about NFTs. No, sir. No, sir. We're not going to do that. Crying out loud. What kind of channel do you think this is? What kind of channel do you think this is, sir? Oh shoot, I forgot to get all these. Got to get all these uh, photos. Uh, anyways, uh, one of the things uh, Bear's not going to get into it. It's starting to get a little late here. Didn't want to get into it, but we did mention it a while back, uh, talking about the, um, uh, the the Denmark Denmark folks out there. They were protesting, uh, trying to get rid of trying to get rid of all the farmers for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why out there, but they. Oh God, that's an ugly thing um but they won the the farmers out there they won they called the bbb uh they had their recent uh elections out there and they won big won big so uh hopefully hopefully yeah they were gonna cut nitrogen emissions by 50 percent uh, by 2030 no, no biggie uh, yeah, let's just let's just cut your food in half by 50 percent in 10 years uh, less than 10 years so uh anyways uh, they they formed a coalition together here and they won, people. They won big. So um, I gotta have a, a a thumbs up, a thumbs up out there for the. Is it the Dutch or the Netherlands? I, a bear always forgets. Always forgets if it's the Dutch or the Netherlands out here. Anyways, long, long article. What was this? Unheard. Uh, we got the link there in the description if you wanna want to check that out. But uh, there you go. There is uh, some good news. Some good news for Europe. Some bad news for Europe, unfortunately. Europe passes ban on gas and diesel-powered new cars. I wonder, wonder what could go wrong with that. Wait a minute, isn't this a ZZ Top thing? How dare you? How dare you appropriate the ZZ Top Cadillacs? Crying out loud. I guess they literally are burying the car. Literally burying the car out there. So there we are. There you are. We're gonna cut them. Cut them down to size. Except for Porsche, Ferrari, and Lamborghini. They lobbied intensively to include e-fuels, people. E-fuels. There you go. There you are. There is... Uh, <laughs> this is my favorite part. Uh, what's unclear uh, is how the e-fuels can be produced at scale for Europe and other parts of the world without creating additional carbon dioxide. <laughs> As synthetic fuels or e-fuels are created by capturing carbon dioxide that exists in the air already, although their creation requires significant amounts of electricity. <laughs> uh, it may contribute more carbon than the ban would allow. But you know what? For Porsche and Ferrari, and who else? Lamborghini out there. Uh, we, we, can, we can get away with that. We can get away with that. There you go. Uh, they, they are planting cars. They, they're planting cars. I don't know. They're trying to get rid of cars. So if they're planting cars, um, th there's going to be more cars. I, I think that's how it works. That's probably how it works, right? Uh, anyways, uh, The Drive and Aaron Cole. Aaron Cole out here. Uh. <laughs> Uh, Marco Fuente says, so great for the environment, continues using fossil fuel equipment to dig gaping holes in the earth to mine for lithium. Yes, indeed. And, and then your batteries only last 10 years. And then your, your SOL after that. <laughs> if, you, if you dig up all the lithium on earth, you're still not going to make it there. Still not going to make it. Uh, anyways, I, I forgot. Oh, people, I apologize. I forgot to get the the um, uh, photographs for this. We'll, we'll just go along, go along together out here. Uh, from the New York Post and Brooke Cato out here. Uh, the Simpsons characters eerily reimagined as human in AI images. Uh, let's see, it says, uh, did the Simpsons predict this? Question mark. An artist has reimagined the beloved cartoon characters as humans. Uh, with the help of AI software, 
and a bit of photo retouching. It would be... Sorry. There we go. Um... Uh, Henry Diao. Di Dio? Eh? Did I get that right? Yeah, whatever. A regular contributor to the site Bored Panda Lettuce Curiosity. Get the best of him asking AI to render many animated household names into flesh and blood. Uh, he challenged himself to use Photoshop, FaceApp, uh, Gradients, and Remini uh, to create somewhat realistic images of well-known cartoon characters. So let's, let's check him out. Let's check him out here, people. That would be, would be Marge. Ah, oh, gosh dang it. Would be Marge there? I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> I'm not sure if the eyes, the eyes work on that one. Kind of, kind of a little bit off there, but uh, there you go. I, I don't know if Marge um, wears lipstick either. Let me see if I can get rid of this. Can I do this? There we go. There we are. There's Marge. There's Marge Simpson. Interesting looking. Uh, Homer. Homer. He's got the two, the two little uh, braids of hair there. That's it. That is it. <laughs> That's, I, I don't know, it almost looks like a mugshot, actually. Kind of looks like a mugshot. There you are. <laughs> There's Milhouse. There is Milhouse there with his eyebrows. The, the eyebrows are off. They need to be the same color. A little bit off there. Got his face, though. That, that definitely looks like a face. There we are. A uh, Bart. There's Bart. Kind of, I don't know what's going on with his eye there. I don't know what's going on with the eye there, but uh, there you go. Spiky hair? Spiky hair. I guess I guess Homer had uh, blonde hair. I guess that's how it turned out. Not sure. There you go. Oh, yeah, he looks just like a normal preteen boy. Yeah, sure. There you go. There's Lisa. Lisa actually doesn't look that bad. The eyes are still a little weird, though, but... Um, yeah, the eyes are a little too big. It almost looks like an anime. There you go. There is Lisa. I, I think I think they nailed um, a Ned Flanders here. There you go. There's Ned. <laughs> he almost looks like an accountant rather than um, you know a church going fellow. But there you are. There you are. I like Mo. I, <laughs> the the Mo looks like the most spot on one here. Mo looks very spot on there. <laughs> Marco for Anthony says Flanders is spot on. There you go. Uh, and they got a number of other ones here. Let's see, uh, there, there's the artist there. Is that it? There's that it. But uh, there you go. There's Mo. Let's go back up here to Flanders. Flanders and and Mo. Yes, uh, Beer Beer agrees with that. Flanders, Flanders, awfully close there. I I, I, th I think they really nailed Mo. That's that's pretty. <laughs> that's pretty funny. So there you go. There. Let's see. Did he have a website? Where it was. Da, 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 da. Um, I don't see it. But uh, Bear has Bear, that's that is a scary looking Lisa. Now that now that Bear kinda looks at it, that's kinda kinda scary looking almost. Yikes. A uh, Bart too, that's kinda just an odd looking one. <laughs> Homer looks like a, a um a, a mugshot. A mugshot apparently. I guess he's the one with blonde hair. We'll never know. We'll never know, because Marge... Marge just doesn't tell what her what her uh, hair color is. So there you are. Yeah, the eyes are just... Eyes are just a little bit off. That's why you support your local artist out there, people. And not... Not AI art. Not AI art. So there you are. All right, finally... I, I wasn't going to do this, but... Uh, Crypto talk. All right. Uh, FTX customers sue influencers who promoted failed cryptocurrency for the low, low price of $1 billion. Uh, FTX suffered the equivalent of a bank run in November uh, when investors simultaneously lost faith in the company and attempted to withdraw their stakes, leaving the firm unable to fully reinvigorate them. Uh, because they stole it all. That's why. Uh, let's see, uh, just the news and uh, uh, Ben Whedon out here. <clears throat> a group of influencers who promoted a failed cryptocurrency FTX 
have faced a $1 billion class action lawsuit, alleging that they failed to disclose the nature of their sponsorship agreements with the firm when advertising it. A plaintiff's allege the defendants did not disclose the nature and scope of their sponsorships and or endorsement deals, of payments and compensation, nor conduct adequate, if any, due diligence. Let's see, they would be, they would be uh, YouTubers, a uh, Graham Stefan, uh, Andre Jacob, uh, the, uh, a bunch of people here. I'm sure we all, we all know those. I thought they had other ones as well. Is that it? Uh, there was a bunch of other ones as well. Beer must have got that on the other one. Uh, the suit named seven plaintiffs, uh, each of whom invested in FTX, yield-bearing accounts. Beer had nothing to do with this, people. Uh, Beer might join the class action lawsuit. Uh, those litigants allege that the influencers uh, helped to promote the crypto, inflating the value of the digital currency beyond levels it would have naturally reached, quote-unquote. Uh, how would they have naturally reached if they didn't have money in there to begin with? I don't know. Uh, they further allege that these influencers received clandestine payments from the firm that went undisclosed. Uh, FTX spectacularly collapsed in November uh, when investors simultaneously lost faith in the company and attempted to withdraw their stakes. Uh, the Hamian authorities sub sub subsequently arrested, uh, that would be the uh, founder of FTX, the Sam Bankman fraud out here, and unfortunately extradited him to the U.S. to face charges. Uh, he's pled not guilty to fraud, conspiracy, money laundering, and campaign finance law violations. By the way, Beer actually found out that uh, his local congressman actually took money from them. Um, uh, it was a different person, but uh, FTX, FTX out there, they were they were passing out money left and right. I think it was like ten grand or something. Uh, both FT I think it was this guy. I think it was Gary Gary Wang. <laughs> uh, both FTX co-founder Gary Wang and former Alameda CEO, the lovely Car Caroline Ellison, have pleaded guilty and are cooperating with prosecutors. Sam Bankman Fine didn't kill himself. That's where that's where beer will leave it. Right there. Yay, crypto, says Amy. Yay, there you are, there's your... People have been asking, and Bear was just like, well, I mean, you know, uh, he talked about crypto all the time, and it was like, you know, billions and billions of dollars. Now it's just only like millions and millions. Bear actually had to wait for another billion dollar thing there to actually talk about crypto, because it's like, eh, who cares if it's just millions and millions of dollars that are being lost? Bear wants the billions of dollars. The old rug pull out there. The old rug pill. Let's see, did I quote this? Just the news. Yeah, Ben Whedon. Ben Whedon. There you are. There, there you go. There is your crypto talk. <clears throat> uh, yay, YouTube influencer lawsuits. I, I hope that... <laughs> do not sue Bear. Do not sue Bear. He, he only has semen. Uh, it wouldn't be so bad... Uh, but I just don't understand blockchain tech. Don't worry, Grant. Nobody does. Nobody does. Uh, basically, blockchain, uh, essentially, if you really want to boil it down, is essentially databases. Um, you know, you, 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 anything on the internet is basically a database somewhere with something. Uh, so they're using databases and um, uh, turning them into uh, cryptographically so you couldn't, you know, only certain people could check it out, uh, the people that you wanted to, to check it out. Uh, and then they says, oh, you know what? Uh, this database is a currency. And people are like, huh? And they're like, yeah, you can make a lot of money off of it. I'm like, oh, okay. And people did make a lot of money off of it. And then they lost a lot of money off of it. So uh, that, that's the long and short of it. Um, blockchain is uh, essentially databases. That's it. Databases that you share between uh, individuals uh, that uh, people on the outside aren't supposed to be able to get to. But of course you put it up on FTX or you put it up on something else and uh, your, your uh, distributed um, uh, currency out there uh, is all just back under one roof. So it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Not, not to beer. It is all kinds of strange, Amy. 
this is true. Actually, let me get out of this. Hold on. Let me get out of this. Back. Back to the thumbnail. I like the thumbnail here. <laughs> Mark of Frenzy. It's time for litigations against beer for the yielding bearing accounts. It's true. It's true. I, at first, I thought it was a list of people on social media. Another group of people all agreed to block. But a bump. But a bump. Uh, but then the crypto and NFT aspects uh, gets complicated. No, it's not complicated at all. Uh, basically, all they did was they put a piece of artwork uh, that anybody could download. I don't know. Put a piece of artwork up on the internet and put it on the blockchain and said this is the only one of them. Even though you can go and you can right click on it and you can save it to your own folder. No, no, no. It's backed up by crypto. It's the only one. And somehow we can make thousands of different, you know, monkeys or whatever the, whatever the variation is. And it's going to be worth something because it's the only one. Even though you can still copy it. You don't have to pay a dime for it. Uh, you can still do that. So uh, essentially the NFT is just um, a piece of artwork that's on the database. That's uh, 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 cryptographically um, uh, encoded. Uh, so people... Say, okay, I'm going to sell my one and only monkey. I'm going to sell it to you. Well, then, you know, you're the one that gets it. Even though anybody in the world can just go onto the thing and just right-click on there and download it themselves. So, what's the point of NFTs? I don't know. I don't know. Somebody came up with something that was like, oh, holy cow, that looks good. I, essentially, tulips, the tulip mania out there. I mean, you know, tulips have a use, but um, they don't. They, they don't command big money. They don't command big money. All right, well, Beer has completely alienated the majority of his audience out here. Talking about NFT and cryptos. Dang it, people. Urgh. Forced Beer into it. They're going to take all the salmon you're worth, says Marco Franzi. Although the lawyers will end up with most of it. Gosh darn lawyers. Urgh. Beer is with Shakespeare on that. Uh, the lawyers usually end up with most of the salmon, uh, don't they, Mark? That's true, Annie. This, this is true. Yes, indeed. All right, people. Well, uh, we've talked. We've talked about all sorts of stuff. NFTs, Disney, Marvel, uh, Warner Brothers, Shazam, um, all, all, the, all the campaigns that we talked about here. Some good stuff out there. Bear still would recommend. If you can get back to it here, where is it? Uh, uh, Cerberus, I uh, do go check that out. Uh, now that he's talking about it, might as well go ahead and do a campaign review. Uh, we'll do that. Um, uh, hopefully, hopefully, sometime here soon. We'll see. We will see out there. But do check that out. Check out Narwhal and all the other campaigns that we've been talking about. Some good stuff, people. We've got some good stuff coming down the pike. Hopefully, hopefully, pretty soon. Yes, Steve. All right. Anyways, want to thank. I want to thank everybody out there. Grant, of course. Amy. Probably Melissa as well somewhere. Uh, great to see Miguel as always. As always. Let's see. Am I missing anybody? Fly Fox. Uh, P Money still doing uh, household chores apparently. All of our Russian bots and lurkers. And especially, especially all the new people that have come in. Hopefully, hopefully you people are enjoying all the great comic stuff. We'll do another Rambo here um, uh, sometime in the near future here. We'll do Rainbow 3. And then maybe uh, Bear might take suggestions out there. Okay, what what other watch-alongs can we do out there? We'll see about that. So it, uh, Bear's Salmon Account. Bear's Salmon Account. Saving money on uh, car insurance. <laughs> there you go. There you go. If you want to save some money, save it on car insurance. Anyways, want to thank, thank everybody out there. We do appreciate it. Uh, go check out the alternate channel, blowing up just like crazy as well. Yes, indeed. All right, well, you know what? All this talk about salmon, it's making bear hungry. So he's going to head back into the woods. And hello, Melissa. Grrr.